Yo, what's up? It's the Dark Horse. Hope you're doing well. Welcome. So basically, obviously, the episodes have been recorded in hand just to give you guys a heads up. Obviously, I've mentioned it prior as well. For some reason, I'm just accidentally turned the monitor off. Welcome. This challenge has not been easy. There is no denying it's probably one of the hardest challenges I've done, obviously, in a while, other than obviously the Road to Masters, uh, Road to Diamond, which was like four seasons ago, which is insane. But this is when Tillaments first dropped. And unfortunately, we're still dealing with them here. Anyways, let us begin. If you are new and this is the first video watching, you can always go back and check out the others. This is the depth profile we run. There probably could be some adjustments I could make, like triple up on Super Poly, triple up and evenly match. You know, drop a couple of other cards. To be honest, a lot of them are very beneficial. I probably could go triple Ash. I probably could drop Juris Worm and go for obviously something else or just run the whole package of Bestial which obviously people have suggested but I've kind of just not bothered with it um gonna be honest it's difficult because obviously I wanted to condense this down to 40 and I've, I did run three Abistiuses but I wasn't pulling them anyway so and Juris Worm is just so beneficial because I can banish their card to benefit me as well as obviously play it off um to bring it out and then when it does leave the field if i link someone for example um we should be a-okay um but anyway let's do this obviously if you don't enter you never know and if you don't and if you do enter you can either win or lose you know it's unfortunately that's the circumstances we're in these days um but you know the weird thing is i actually am enjoying master door more recently despite obviously everything in Marcedal from Telemans to Branded to Labyrinth let you know but I don't know it's just something fresh it's exciting double yeah double up on the diva is not good super poly comes in handy but obviously this spell card we're dealing with Drytron okay that would special summon correct and then I'll go max C because normally they go into multiple crazy plays, obviously setting up their um, negations and everything. But it's fine. Okay. So I've got Marksman. Then you can add a Light Fairy. The problem I've got here is that. The only thing is, if Super Poly can play off, it will be going to Garura or Madragon. I will happily take them. They are 100% just going to give me multiple cards. I have been clapped in the past. We're picking up 22 cards against a Blackwing build. So I'm not going to get overly confident here. Because anything can really happen. Um, okay. Into Fafnir. Mate, what is this? You know how frustrating that is. I have one more Prince left in the deck. For Diva's effect to apply off. If Diva doesn't apply off, Diva's a complete waste of time. Okay. Activate Herald. You can send a fairy from your deck to the graveyard. Increase the level. Then you activate the effect to allow you to add a ritual monster or a ritual spell. Okay. We do have a possible Super Poly play here. But they are possibly going to lead into maybe Baron. Or the... I don't know. You know... Baron and Chen Ying are kind of the two level 10s that I see most of. If they do go with a different approach, it depends on how they're going to follow suit with the Drytron play. Um, but I haven't seen Drytron being ran in a long time. But then Ultimateness is 12. Okay. So then, doesn't that go straight into Ultimateness on the field? Yeah. Okay, cool. That gives me a Crusadia. Ritual Summon again. I wouldn't mind taking another Super Poly. Just in case. So you detach. Ben 10 now comes out to the field. Giving me a happy Feather Duster. I'm not really too worried. Beatrice in defense mode doesn't that protect. Okay. Ooh. You're leading in with the Ava. Banish, special summon. Oh, it's not special summon, it's add. Okay, so you've got negation in hand from monster's effect. Okay. 
Okay. That does become a little annoying, if I'm being honest. There's not one card in my hand that will allow me to drop infantry, which is infuriating. Like, this whole combo is just foiled. If I go with... No, no, I'm going to have to go Super Poly first. Super Poly. We are going to drop... Not one thing benefits me here by being dropped. And then we're going to go into Gurura. Go one. And we'll go two. He's got monster negation. That's the only downfall. So I want to play some form of defense. While he has all those cards still in hand. The problem I've got here is... Okay, never mind. Okay, that's actually a good surrender. I love it because Super Poly just kind of ends games sometimes. But yeah, it's good. It's good. It's a good win. You know, we can't foil it. We can't fault it. Um, okay, moving into our next game. I get the coin toss again, leading him a second. I have to be more patient. The one thing I've come to... Playing Master Duel, especially this season, is in the past I've got frustrated at decks and I haven't concentrated on my play, haven't concentrated on my cards. This is a beautiful stat in hand. This is what I've been looking for. If I could probably get maybe. Oh, baby. It's Labyrinth. Oh, my God. Okay. This is great because I can ash unevenly. But yeah. I would have loved a happy Feather Duster, though. Would have loved it. Alright. We're going to go battle phase. Main phase 2. Evenly. <laughs> the only problem is I'm only going to be able to negate 1. As well. Or I go with it and go maxi and let myself pick up another card. But realistically, I'm going to Ash. Because I don't want them to get cards out on the field. And Welcome Labyrinth. The only thing they can really go with is Big Labyrinth. Now. So I think they're going to have Compulsory. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of what else they could possibly have. I don't think I really needed to activate Ash. Because... They would have got rid of all four anyway, because they would have had a monster on the field. So either way, they've got to keep one of these spell of traps. But I'm thinking if I go Diva, Special Summon Prince, Activate Prince. Wait, 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 wait. Is... Oh, what if this deck runs Waking the Dragon? Hmm. Okay. I got an idea. Activate. Max C. Oh, mate. Only if Cold was still in my hand. That's just a little bit of an unfortunate situation, really. So he is breaking the sweat here. Which is fine. I'm going to destroy the face down card by using Marksman. No. Add to hand. Uh-huh. Could have went infantry, but we're not going to worry about that. I'm expecting Waking the Dragon. Mirror Force. Impressive. The only problem is, if I go double, I'm going to... Uh, I don't know if to just end my turn here. He's got one card. What can he... I'm going to end my turn here. I was going to go Baron. Baron would have been a smart play. But the problem is, it would have gave him two extra cards. If he bricks his hand, he has to end his turn anyway. So he'll probably go one face down and one spell or trap. Then I can still go Baron anyway. Yeah. Which is fine. My Abyss Spike. Probably going to activate Trap. Once I bring out Tatsugure or whatever its name is. Although technically I could force the activation now. Let's force the activation. Drop Marksman. And even if he brings out a monster, I can Abyss Spike. He has no face down cards. We're set. I had Abyss Spike. 
Abyssius can come out through infantry. Unless he's trying to bait me. I'm expecting Big Labyrinth. Big Welcome Labyrinth, I think it's called. Come on, mate. We ain't got a day, Chip Chop. I definitely think we should run evenly matched at three. Super Poly, I could probably settle for two. But we'd have to figure out what card we can drop. Drius Worm. Because <sighs> I'm running at a one without, the, all, without all the bestial support. It might be a case that I actually do decide to do that and not run all the bestial support. But then Drew's Worm's kind of like a safety net if I was able to pull it and plus as a high level monster. Hopefully we can bag this win here and promote to two. You know, so far, God forbid, touch wood, you know what I mean? This might be our doorway to... Okay, this might be our gateway to winning. Right, Stout. Here we go. What you got for me, fella? Okay. Solid hand. Not the greatest and not the worst. If I must say. Okay. Labyrinth again. Um... Okay. It's fine. We'll save our maxi for our turn. Unless he drops Ku Clock. Man, I'm going to have to start running some trap negation. Evenly matched, 100% has to go to 3. 100%. So he must have bricked. Because he doesn't appear to seem to have any benefit here. Which is good. Because now if I could discard this. Okay. It's a difficult decision here because if I go with that and then that, I could link summon anyway. But at the same time, I could go Diva, Special Summon, Prince, and then Prince can discard. Yeah, let's go Diva. Activate Diva. Trap card activates. Ash. Well played. That's a little annoying. That kind of foils every play I was going for. Well, I'm not going to special summon anymore anyway. That is a tough situation. The great thing is, even if he activates a trap card, we have Ash. We can shut down the trap play. We don't have anything to go off. I have to basically hope that this guy just doesn't pull any beneficial cards. He has these in the graveyard. So there we go. The trap card activates. We're going to Ash Blossom here. No. But then the, with these, I think they... If a monster these filled by your normal trap felt with this card in the graveyard, you can add this card to your hand. Okay, we're good. So basically, he's banking on picking up a good card, really. Even if Diva does get destroyed, we can still go Prince. We can drop uh, Infantry, Destroy. Whatever comes out. Whether it's a face down card or what. Okay. So you flipped it. Take one face to change that monster to defense mode. Okay. That's not bad. Tackle Crusader. Impressive. 1300 damage taken. My only hope here is there's no face down. So we don't have to worry about any sort of gateway or play. I have Abyss Megalo. This is perfect. So, the only problem is, I'm going to have to go Prince. Prince's effect is going to have to activate before we bring out Abyss Megalo. We're going to drop Infantry. Infantry's effect is going to apply off. Plus, we get to add a Mermail from our deck to our hand. No shot. An Ash again. Wow. It's insane. Right, there you go. Activate your effect in grave. You're going to flip Prince into face down. That benefits me. The only downfall is bringing out Abyss Megalo. It's great. Oh, technically, in theory, I probably could just... 
it's it's too risky at the moment it's too risky i would rather wait to see if they set first then go marksman because i can flip this next turn anyway if they don't destroy it and they pull a trap the worst thing they're going to do is special summon a labyrinth yeah which is probably big labyrinth or whatever it's called which will bring out a level eight which will allow me to apply maxi plus we can still destroy it because there's no more set cards Abyss Gunde is good. I need a Mermail and Grave, though. But there isn't one. So if I flip... I'm going to activate the effect of Atlantean Prince. I'm going to drop down... That's annoying. Um... Yeah, alright, it's fine. We can get Abyssius. We can make this work. Mine activate your trap. Oh. Oh, that's a sucker, isn't it? That's an absolute stinker of a trap. No, we're good. I, I credit. Credit where it's due. He's holding on. He's sticking it out. Uh, we're going to add Dragoons. And then Dragoons' is effect activates, allowing me to get Abystius. Wait, no. Abyss Megalo again. Okay. Now I can't Synchro. I think I normal and then Special Summon. Or I could banish a card from hand. Then play off an effect. I was hoping. Okay. It's fine. We'll go Lapis. Lapis is effect. No. Special Summon. I could just go Access Code as well to be honest. Then, summon, normal summon, normal summon, normal summon, special summon. There's no point going into unicorn. I could go into that and then special summon, which will allow me to get another summon off. So if we go one and we go two, Anemone. Anemone's effect now activates. Okay. Yeah. I think I've bit the bullet a bit. Finder. Because I still get to special summon due to Marksman. Anyway. This Megalo now comes out. Drop Dragoons. And drop you. This Megalo now comes out. This Megalo and Dragoons effect applies off. No. Resolve. So there's his spell cards out of play. Let's card add from your deck to your hand. It doesn't really make much of a difference, but we'll go with Diva. You know the great part about this? I activate my spell card. Quip. No. I could, in theory, do this. Tribute. No. Battle phase. Attack for 32. Attack for 32. Tap for 14. Special summon. Dragoons. And then finish. Nice. Good job, good job. Not bad. Not bad at all, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a good run. We're doing good in this episode. Take a deep breath. Take some patience. You know what I mean? We're doing good. We're in, We're in plat two slowly moving up the ladder this is good okay four win streak with atlanteans we are going to make some adjustments to our build obviously i don't like to make too many adjustments but the triple evenly match is heavenly heavenly heavily needed i don't know if i want one for one i don't really play it off too much but it does benefit kinder if a card goes to the graveyard especially with a biscunde 
but I'm going to let it go. Um, we're going to jump in. Triple Evilly match is just too beneficial not to run, especially with the current meta and things like that, and seeing these builds being used, you know. Obviously, let me know in the comments below what decks you'd like to see me run in the next, like, Road to uh, Diamond series. Um, I've got nearly 8,000 gems now, so we've got enough, hopefully, to build a new deck. Um, there's no guarantee that I will obviously use the deck, but we will work with something. Okay. This is not the best, but also it's not the worst. Ash, Ash Maxi evenly, mate. Solid stat in hand, period. Especially if they go full back row. Okay, Evil Eye. Evil Eye is just as crazy, to be honest. Um, da, 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 da. I'm going to Ash Blossom here. Because if they get that Evil Eye main monster out, it's a problem for us. You know? So while that's not out, we should be fine. Okay, this is fine because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go battle phase, main phase two, evenly match. Because it doesn't make, obviously the max C is great, but once evenly has been shut down, we're pretty much good, really. I say evenly has been shut down, so you can banish the spell card. This will allow you to discard a spell card. And then add. Is it add a monster? I can't remember how it works. This guy wanted to add one evil eye spell attract me deck to your hand. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So when this is activated, you can banish one evil eye card from your grave, draw one card. This is an impressive spell card. I'm hoping they play more cards face down. Or at least kind of set up. I could have held out on the Ash. I didn't necessarily need to play it. But that's something we'll come to learn. Yeah. I don't think this is an evenly play if I'm being honest. Um, I could just destroy the spell card through Deep Sea Diva. But the only thing is I don't know whether to just go straight Atlantean. Yeah we'll go straight. Activate effect. Because either way, we still get the effect off whether or not we get this through with Ash. So there is possibly an Ash in hand or a Max C. The Ash is there. That's fine. The main concern for me is getting rid of that spell card on the back row. So as much as I've been Ashed, my infantry still applies. And then Pop Pop Penguin. And then, yeah. Then you can activate the effect and target the two spell cards. Hmm. It's a difficult one because I don't know if this is going to be a good play for me. I just... If he doesn't pull a card that can benefit him getting that monster back, we should be okay. Right, so you can set Celine back. Do you have the monster for Celine? Oh, come on, man. You've got to be kidding me. You literally just top decked that. That's mad. Well, well, I say, yeah. There we go. Um, okay. In other words, I'd say we're in trouble. We kind of are, but we're not. Because, obviously, even with our monster being destroyed, if he doesn't kill, we evenly anyway. So, that's a win in itself. So, Evil Eyes Unleashed. Plus, you're going to have, like, three equipped spell cards. Plus, every time you activate your effect, you gain 500. Well, you pay 500 life points. So, all I'd really need to do is just bring out a boss monster. Which, if I can... He isn't going to special summon. They never really do. The only time they do it is if they bring out the other monster, which has an effect where you can link summon straight into another monster. Okay. Okay, there's that card in the graveyard. That card is the one that can link. <clears throat> right. Oh, no, that's bad. Oh, shit, I didn't see that coming. 
technically speaking, if he sets it face down, it's still his turn when we act evenly. So I think we're fine. The only downfall is as I activate evenly, he may play off the effect to link summon. I should actually... I just realised I probably should have activated Max C, but it's fine. Oh no, it has to be during the opponent's turn. Okay, no, we're fine, we're fine. But then... Okay, DDD. Mate, to be fair, I probably could have picked up a lot of new cards there, you know. It probably would have made sense to go with Max C. Okay, DDD and Divisor. No point doing anything now. I don't think we're going to survive this, you know. I think we're screwed. Okay, now we're good. We're good. No. Evenly goes into play. There you go. You're going to keep Dace. It's good because I get rid of one of his main monsters as well. Interesting. You kept Serzial. And now you're going to activate a spell card maybe? Well played. Mm. So I can't destroy it by battle or card effects. <clears throat> but I can destroy it. Give me... Okay. That's actually not that bad, you know. Because now I can special summon it. So that's good. Unless I get screwed over. I could have picked up like three cards. You know what I mean? Man, seriously, what is this shit? No infantry. Oh, wait, you've got that. I was about to say, it's got that trap card face down, isn't it? That's that trap card that can negate spell and trap activations. <clears throat> I don't necessarily know if it negates monsters' effects, too. Okay, so he's going to link summon now. That's fine. When a spell trap is activated, where well, you control an evil eye, like, negate the activation and destroy it. Okay, we're good. So there we go. We get destroyed. Problem is, I've got nothing I can special summon, man. I'm, I'm hanging by a hair, really. Zerzil. Oh, my God. Seriously. Of everything, man, I'm not picking up anything to benefit me here. You know what? I shot myself in the foot. I really should have actually went with the... Um, the... Um, should have went with the... Um, Maxi earlier. I'm struggling to get my words together. But yeah, we are pretty much dead. All he has to do is summon a monster and it's game over. But well played. You know what I mean? You can't win them all. Sometimes you're going to make misplays. Sometimes you're going to make mistakes. You know, you got to own up to them. And unfortunately, not activating Maxi earlier was one of them things. You know? Once per turn during the standby phase, it's going to negate the effect of one. Okay. I think I might have to put Abistius back up. To one. It's just whether he's got a monster or not. If not, we might be able to scrape through on 600. Might as well. I just can't get over my luck though, man. I doubled up on Prince. Doubled, uh, tripled up on Prince. Deep sea, deep sea can't even special summon anything anymore. Other than infantry. But yeah. Okay, well played. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. Thank you guys for watching and take care of yourselves. Peace.